Exposomics is the culmination of exposures throughout the life course. So this is from preconception all the way onward. It can be a game changer in our thinking about cancer. The main question is, why did I get the cancer and what can I do to prevent it? From those two questions, our interest started looking into what kind of environmental factors can be causing or leading to this kind of cancer. We can have exposures to pollutants, we can have exposures to nutrients, to drugs, to stress. Exposomics investigates multiple exposure fields, and I think there lies our key to finding more information on what causes cancer. We do know that we have a biological clock in the brain, and if you have the disruption or the misalignment between your biological clock and the environment, what happens is your body is simply not doing the right thing at the right time. So the cell cycles are not doing what they are supposed to be doing. They start reproducing faster than they should. If you get light at the wrong time or if you don't get enough light at the right time, you can disrupt the circadian rhythms and long-term disruption of circadian rhythms has been linked to cancer. So if you can manipulate light in the environment, or manipulate the light-dark patterns that people are being exposed to, you can then help minimize circadian disruption. Most of our research is really developing tools, devices, methods of measuring light, understanding the mechanisms, understanding how light affects different parts of the body and different diseases. For example, a lot of people that go through chemotherapy, they suffer a lot from fatigue, and what we're seeing is by providing them a very robust light-dark pattern, we are actually minimizing that fatigue. We're helping them sleep better. We're helping them reduce fatigue, reduce depression. It empowers you to improve the quality of your life and minimize disease risk. And to me, that is absolutely thrilling. As a researcher, I am doing my part, this one slice of this puzzle, to try and understand the causes of disease like pediatric cancer. To study causality, you need to collect samples that are prior to the onset of clinical symptoms and prior to the onset of disease. And this is really hard with rare diseases and particularly diseases in children because these samples, they're really not available. And so what we did was use samples that were already collected, dry blood spots. In dry blood spots, we're able to measure important exposures such as environmental pollutants, nutrients, and unknown chemicals. Most lab tests measure one to 10 chemicals and compare the measurements of those chemicals to what is normal. In my lab, we have an instrument that measures 10,000 different signals that allow me to discover which chemicals are the important ones and then link those to disease. With my research, the ultimate goal would be not to cure cancer, but more to prevent it. I'm very interested in an endocrine system, and that is mainly because this little organ that is located just here in the neck affects so many bodily functions. If it functions too slowly, everything just basically shuts down. We get really tired, we gain weight. And on the opposite end, if it works too fast, you get hyperactive, you lose weight, you just basically are agitated. In my research, I'm trying to ask the questions, what kind of exposures are people exposed to that are diagnosed with cancer? There are certain chemicals that, if you would measure the level of those chemicals and look at the thyroid function, we see that it disrupts the thyroid function. If you're disrupting function of an organ over a longer period of time, that may then be a cause leading up to cancer. 
I think the field of exposomics is going to be very important in finding a way to prevent cancer. The potential that we're going to discover something that can really help people, that can reduce the chance of people getting cancer or reduce the severity of the disease is what keeps us doing the science. Thank you.